Hey guys, today here at Cali Ray's LED, we're going to be installing our 2014 and up Toyota Tundra behind the grill LED light bar kit. This kit allows you to mount up to two 42 inch curved LED bars. Um, today we got a 1794 uh, Toyota Tundra brand new getting this set up. Um, so the first part of the install, we're going to have to remove the grill and install the brackets. So to remove the grill on this truck, you have four bolts right here that need to be loosened and removed, and then you have these small clips on the outside. Um, for these, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver or a little socket, and then for these outer clips, you can use a little uh, flat head to lift the clips. Um, once you get them popped, then they easily just remove like that. So what we're gonna do is uh, remove all of this so we can pull the grill off of the truck. Okay, so now when we're um, removing this grill, it can be a little tricky sometimes, you got to first get the grill off of these little uh, nipples right there, um, just so you're not fighting those. Um, then the next thing we like to do is start from the center of the grill. Um, there's clips that run along the bottom, so you slowly have to work it to get the grill um, from these clips. So start from the center and work them, and then you get out to the outside. Once you get all the clips removed, then you can remove the grill from the front of the So truck. now we're going to remove these air deflectors from behind the grill. So to remove these, there's gonna be six little uh, of these clips. So there's one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So for these, it's the simple get behind them, twist, and then they pull out. So once you get all of your clips out, um, removing these is pretty simple. Um, you got this hose that's kind of in the way, so you're just going to want to kind of push that in as you come out. And you get right around it, and it'll pop out. So now what we're going to do is flip the horns. Um, they kind of get in the way of the light bar, so we need to flip them. So it's just a 12 millimeter socket. Um, once you get that loosened, I'm just going to pull that out right there. And you're just going to uh, flip the horn like so, put it back, put it like that, and then re-put it back in and tighten it down. So that has no effect on the vehicle. We're just gonna flip the horn so we can fit the light bar in there. So we provide you with all the hardware for this kit. You're not gonna need to provide any for yourself. Um, as you can see, we got everything right here. But what we did is we went and removed this little 10 millimeter bolt right here because this is where the bracket mounts to on the bottom, as you can see. So we just got the bracket loosely on here so we can get it placed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, bolt and we're going to attach to the back of the uh, truck. So you line up your hole like that and you place your uh, bolt through the hole and then you come back from behind with the provided nut and install it so that it's very strong. Now you just do this with the rest of them, keep installing your bolt and get everything on. We're not going to tighten anything down fully um, just because we want to wait till after the LED bar is mounted um, just because in case we got to move anything around um, on the back. So we're just going to leave everything nice and loose before we go start tightening stuff down. So depending on your truck, this is just a quick little note. Some of the trucks that we've uh, worked on, they're all a little bit different. Sometimes this little mount sticks out a little further. If yours is sticking out and touches anything, it's uh, just real simple just to kind of press it back in and uh, get it out of the way. It just depends on your truck. Some you have to, some you So now we got the light bar um, installed on the brackets. We tighten up the light bar, but not the mounts of the vehicle because as you can see, you do get some side to side movement. So by having these slotted holes, we're able to perfectly mount the light and have the mounts exactly where they need to be for each individual truck. So don't tighten these down, leave them loose so you can find where they need to be and then we can go about tightening. So we have uh, multiple holes on our bracket. Um, the reason we do that is so that the light bar can mount in different locations depending on what model you have. So we have the TRD Pro up here and the TRD Pro down there. 
and then we have the SR5 here and then our other SR5 bolt down here. So that allows you to have the light bars down mounted in different locations depending on what grill you have. Okay, so now we got the light bar finished, getting installed, got it all wired up. As you can see, it fits perfectly behind there. Thing is as bright as the sun. This is our 42 inch curved LED bar. 400 watt, 40,000 lumen. Looks awesome on this truck.